Hey Bengal fam and welcome to this tutorial courtesy of the Idaho State University Libraries. Today we will be talking about how our databases can help you in your research projects, specifically when you're looking for a book either online or in the physical library on campus. We encourage you to follow along with this tutorial to gain some practice when using our search engines. Start at the Idaho State University Libraries homepage, which is isu.edu forward slash library. This is the starting point for all of our databases, and as you can see by the toolbar displayed on the homepage, we have the OneSearch, Catalog, Databases, Journal by Title, and Subject Guides. But for this video, we're going to be focusing mainly on OneSearch and Library Catalog. And OneSearch is kind of our all-in-one database. You can think of it as kind of the quick start to your research. But in order to research anything through any database, we first need a research topic. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let's go with coronavirus. So let's go ahead and type in that keyword, our research topic. And just start there. That's like over 3 million results. That's it. I'm out. I'm done. That's good. Nope. Not doing it. Nope. I mean, how are you supposed to research millions upon millions of results? The fact is, you don't. You refine your search, and there are a variety of ways to do this. And the library makes it easy for you using the refine tools on the left-hand side of your screen. These filters are pretty amazing. You can select specific dates when the book you're interested in was published, so you can limit your results that way. You can see if you only, so say, in the library's catalog. Or you can choose full text available online. But you can also pick your desired source type. Let's try that now. And we're interested in books here, so we're going to go ahead and click the book, as well as the ebook option. All right, let's see what that did to our results. Selecting these brought our results down to just 17,000 which if you ask me is a lot better than almost 3 million. This may still seem like a lot, but it's a lot more manageable to search through these results than it is to search through the 3 million we had before. There are other ways you can refine your searches, and we have videos about those on our YouTube channel, so if you're still curious and you really want to learn how to search a good search, go ahead and hop over there to check it out. Once you find a relevant article or book, there are a few ways to access a full text. Some will have the option of viewing a full PDF version online, or there will also be an option to download the full text to your device. Many texts will have either one or both of these options, but there are some times where finding a full text version is a little more complicated. Sometimes you find the perfect source for your project. In your mind, you're just like, ah, oh, yes, this is exactly what I need. I've hit the jackpot and I can't find a full text version. Where's the full text? I need the full text. This is perfect. I can't believe I found this and I can't access it. What? <laughs> In these cases, Clicking on the full text open access option on the page will take you to the complete version of the text that the university has already paid for. If you're anything like me and desire to have a printed hard copy of the text, then it is important that you recognize the location, call number, and status of your desired book. This will help you know if the book is checked out, on hold, available to you, and where it is in the library. So now that we discussed how to use OneSearch, let's hop over to the library catalog to talk about another way you can find your desired text. For the sake of consistency, let's go ahead and use the same research topic we used before, coronavirus. This works similar to OneSearch, but it consists only of texts that are found in the library catalog. This didn't produce nearly as many results as when we used the same research topic in the OneSearch database, but we can still select certain collections to narrow our focus. You can search by keyword, author, title, and even ISBN number. You can select government documents, collections found on the second floor of Obler Library, special collections, and so on. 
Again, not all text will show a PDF or download option for the material, but there will be an option to go and view the material on the publisher's website. And that does it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if there's a particular tutorial you would like us to do in the future. Be sure to click subscribe for more library related content and ring that notification bell so you know when we upload a new tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. This is how we roar.